Nine. <laughs> Nine. Who? Imagine. Imagine. Only conceding nine goals in a whole season. What's up guys, welcome back to Tucker Jobs, this is Tactic Testing for Football Manager 21. Don't forget, if you're liking the stuff we do, then click the like button, subscribe and click the notifications so you don't miss any more future videos from this channel. Now, here we are with the tactic. It was created by Egrom, it was recommended to me in one of my comments on YouTube and it's the Waves version 2. You can find it on FM Arena and as you can see it's a strikeless tactics. Now remember guys if you are using a strikeless and don't have any amazing shadow strikers that you preferably want to use, just retrain one of your strikers into that position and they will do just fine in that role and sometimes even better than the shadow strikers that you might have all right just try it out and uh, have a little bit of trust in them and i'm sure they'll work out just fine so the teams taking part in this test ladies and gentlemen arsenal villa psg angers benfica tondela derby bristol rovers and bradford c a nice variety of teams right there if you can't download this tactic using the link in the description i'll go through all of the instructions now for manual import so let's get started shadow striker attacking midfielder winger left winger right central midfielder deep line playmaker inverted wing back left inverted wing back right central defender left central defender right and the sweeper keeper set piece instructions guys corners defending right left and attacking left and right and the taker is aiming for the near post free kicks defending right and left and attacking left and right and that's mixed for the taker throw-ins defending right and left and attacking left and right and as you can see it's the long throw-ins everybody go back to the tactic the mentality is positive which is preferably my favorite mentality to be, to be fair because you can drop down a little bit defensively and you can still uh, go more attacking so it is my choice of mentality um, overall in possession fairly wide attacking width with play out defense on the approach play standard passing di directness with extremely high tempo Fine, uh, low crosses in the final third with work ball into box and play for set pieces in transition counter press and counter and your goalkeeper's instructions is just to roll it out out of possession, you are using the offside track with a much higher line of engagement, a standard defensive line, a standard defensive width, extremely urgent press and intensity with a prevent short goalkeeper distribution. And there we go. There's the tactic. There's the teams, all the instructions, and the download link is in the description, remember, guys, so you can always go there. And uh, also, if you can, uh, you can always check out my Twitch. All right, I keep forgetting that I've got Twitch. So, yeah. It'll be, uh, it'll be great to see you there. And the link for that is also in the description. <laughs> nice one. So let's get started with the test. And I'll see you all at the end of the season. Right, welcome back, guys. But first, let me make you aware of a little thing that's going to help a lot of people if you are in the area and can do so. So here it is, guys. As you can see by the uh, Man City FC Fans Food Bank Support Group, um, there is a food collection at the City and Norwich game on the 21st of August. So if you are a Manchester City fan or a Man U fan, all right, you probably don't want to get too close to that ground. Um, but there is a point where you can donate food to people uh, that will really, really need it. It's in the aid of the Manchester Central Food Bank. And as you can see by the donation suggestions right there, they are the preferred foods, but not limited to. Um, all the socials are there as well if you want to have a quick look at them. And there's uh, also a helping hand if you've got the time if you've got just anything um will do all right any any help is better than none at all so uh yeah hopefully you check it out guys hopefully you can donate uh, and if you can't just uh, give a thumbs up and share the awareness so other people may have a chance to see this all right so let's get back to the game then so here we are then in the premier division arsenal and aston villa and as you can see Villa had a stormer of a season. Arsenal coming second is a great job in itself, but Villa coming third is absolutely exceptional um, as well. So first off, 
the top threes. Uh, Grealish. <laughs> Grealish was the shadow striker for Aston Villa. He got 28 goals and came first. Barkley for Villa and Aubameyang coming third. Uh, average ratings, Grealish once more getting the top ratings right there he was the best player in the premier league basically uh with gabriel for arsenal coming second then assists is all arsenal with uh mcguinn actually no it's all joint first all right pepe nelson and mcguinn player of the matches grealish with 14 14 player of the matches with grealish absolute legend um and then leno coming third with the clean sheet so yeah not bad not bad at all but first we're going to start off with arsenal and their competitions how did they well, that's not bad, is it, Arsenal? You may not have won the league, but you won the FA Cup, you won the Carabao Cup, you won the Community Shield, you still finished the season with the treble. How was that? <laughs> and then they've just lost against Brentford. <laughs> oh, mad, mad. They were runners-up in the Euro Cup, unfortunately losing out to Napoli in the final, but yeah, that's absolutely fantastic for Arsenal. Well done indeed. Go to the squad, let's go to the stats of the first team, and we can see all the best players. The best player was Odegaard, 7.95, brilliant rating, 7 goals, 10 assists for him, and he only played 14 games, which means he had a major injury, which means he would have got a lot more numbers when it comes to goals and assists and he would have had a fantastic season biggest goal scorers was Bamiang there 36 goals nine assists as the shadow striker as you can see i pretty much have to force the guy uh, the assistant to play these guys so i lock strikers in positions all the best suited shadow striker for that position uh, in this case of Bamiang but still got 36 goals in that role. Uh, William, Gabriel, Nelson, all right, 17 goals, 16, 12, 11 for Saka, Smith and Rowe, uh, 10 there. Biggest creators, Pepe, Nelson, Saka, 17, 16 and 11. Team report then, over the course of the whole season and compared to the rest of the uh, league, you're done pretty well. You're done pretty well. 2.55 goals per game, all right? Decent on the expected. You're conceding less than a goal. You're getting a lot of shots. And it's actually decent on the pass completion ratio as well. If we go to the full numbers, guys, it was 166 goals for Arsenal and 57 conceded, which is actually pretty good considering you was in the final of every cup competition. Right, that's a lot of games, guys. It's a lot of games, and they did exceptionally well. Uh, but let's go to the standout performers of the league. Aston Villa, third place. Champions League football next season. And uh, the hero, Jack Grealish, obviously in real life, has gone to Man City now. But in this case, he is still at Villa for this tactics test. All right, so let's go through their competitions. How did they do? Fifth round of the FA Cup, Carabao Cup, third round. So it's unfortunate they didn't get far there, but by not getting far there, they can focus so much more time on the Premier League, and that's what they did uh, by coming third. Squad then, best player. That's actually quite a decent amount of numbers on the average ratings as well for the underdogs. Normally, even if the underdogs do well, they still get lower ratings, but that's not too bad on the players. Jack Grealish being the best player, 32 goals, 14 assists. Biggest goal scorers after Grealish was Barkley, all right, with 24, and then Sanson with 11. Biggest creators, all right, you got McGinn uh, and Grealish there with 15 and 14, with trial rate getting 10. Team report for the underdogs is still not bad for who they are. Goals per game, very good. You're still conceding. It's only just over a goal, all right? 13 shots on target. A little bit lower on the pass completion, but you can understand that with the quality of the players. And the full numbers for them, guys, was 102. So the underdog still scored over 100 goals, which ain't bad. And only conceded 50 goals as well. So again, not bad. Um, if we go to the Premier Division stats, comparing to the other teams, overview, look, most points per game, as you can see there, Arsenal... And uh, Villa come in second and third, like the league. Most goals, Arsenal and Villa. First and second. Incredible. Most shots for Arsenal come in second, Villa fifth there. Fewest shots against Arsenal and Villa is that's pretty decent on the defensive side of things. Right, third and fourth. Uh, best pass completion, nowhere in sight, which is a shame. Uh, most possession, again, nowhere in sight. A little bit of an attacking tactic, maybe. Uh, most tackles won. Aston Villa doing well on the defence there. Fifth. Most dribbles made, second and third for Arsenal and Villa. Uh, most clean sheets, Arsenal coming third with 19. Villa coming eighth, which ain't bad for them. Uh, and fewest conceded, Arsenal third and Villa sixth. So, overall... Villa pretty much matched it with the best of them with some of 
the uh, overview stats and Arsenal doing well too. So yeah, awesome job, guys. Next teams. Uh, all right, PSG and Angers. How do they do? Well, <laughs> PSG are going to come first. We know that. But I show the big numbers with an elite team and they allow me to do it. Angers coming fourth. All right, Angers are predicted 14. They are an underdog. And they came fourth. Not quite a Champions League football, but still very good regardless. So uh, top threes then. Goals, Mbappe getting 33. Mbappe playing in that shadow striker position. He got 33 league goals. Average ratings, Mbappe, uh, Kimpembe. <laughs> the names. Uh, Di Maria all coming first, second and third on average ratings. I, I can say it. I, can, I just can't, can't say it. One of them. It's a tongue twister for me. It's just... Assists, Di Maria and Buffal coming second and third with 13 and 11. And clean sheets was obviously Navas with 29. 29 clean sheets. That is a lot. <laughs> oh, that was a weird sound I've just made as well. So, um, yeah, PSG's competitions. Let's have a look. Uh, they won the Champions League. They won the French Cup. And they won the Trophies to Champions. They beat Dortmund in the final 3-1. And they won the league. They got everything that was available to them in the first season, guys. All four. They got the quadruple. Arsenal got the treble. It's it's looking pretty good. It's a pretty good tactic. Let's face it. it, done, it it's done well. It's done well with everyone so far. And, uh, yeah, let's go to the squad then. So, the best player in the team was Neymar, right? Only played 13 times, which means Neymar got injured, which, again, means that this tactic could have done absolute wonders for PSG if they had their best, well, yeah, one of their best players in the team for all season. But, unfortunately, the uh, nature of the game is sometimes the big players get injured. But he still played very well. So we'll go to Mbappe then. 65 goals in all competitions. What a baller. 12 assists for him. Biggest goal scorers after Mbappe. Rafinha, Sarabia, Herrera. 12, 13, 24. And biggest creators. Rafinha, Di Maria, Sarabia and Draxler. A lot of other players getting in there as well. 20 assists. 19 assists. 13, 12. Big numbers guys. For a big team. Uh, team report. It's normally the case. But that is. That's awesome. That's awesome. Conceded per game on the averages, 0 0.24. 0 0.24. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Full stats, guys. 183 goals and 24 goals conceded. That's in every competition. It's going to be exciting to see how much they conceded in the league because it's looking like it may be very, very low. But first, we will go through Angers. How did they do? We've seen the top players. They've only got one in there. We've seen where they finished in the league. Their competitions, they didn't win. 11th round, knocked out by PSG. Um, if we actually have a look at that score, it was 5-2. So Angers didn't do too bad with the team that they're actually up against. Um, so yeah, squad, let's have a look And not a lot of players getting decent average ratings Because they did exceptionally well uh, Thomas being your best player, 6 goals, 2 assists Biggest goal scorers, Buffal, all right, with 14 and 14 assists He was your biggest assist maker as well Team report, all right, again, it's actually not bad for who you are All right, you're still on the outside averages compared to the rest of the league So that's not too bad, not too bad at all Stats then uh, for Angers, 72 goals, a little bit low, but they still did good, all right, and it might actually be very good in the league, all right, just because they weren't in so many other competitions doesn't allow them to score more goals, uh, and only 45 conceded for the underdogs, very, very good, now let's go to the stats of this league, then team overview, most points, PSG obviously and Angers, uh, first and third, most goals then, PSG 110, Angers come and joint third with 64, most shots then pair again, same places, fewest shots against, once more, you're not allowing teams to shoot against you, I understand with the big teams, but second place is Angers, not bad. All right, not bad at all. Most possession, uh, PSG there coming fourth. Most dribbles made, uh, PSG first, and then Angers fifth. And then fewest conceded, nine. <laughs> nine. Who? Imagine. Imagine. Only conceded nine goals in the whole season. Yeah, well. 
Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. Uh, Angie's coming third there as well. So, awesome. Good job, guys. All right, let's go to uh, Portugal. Let's see Benfica and Tondela. How did they do? Benfica coming first. Tondela coming sixth. Tondela are the underdogs. And coming sixth is absolutely insane. You can see the top three players right there. How did SLB in the competitions? Winner of the Portuguese Cup. Winner of the Portuguese Super Cup. And the Portuguese League Cup belongs to Port oh, Tondela. Okay. All right. Everyone's getting a bit of the action on this tactic. Nice one. Very, very good. Uh, if we go to the lower leagues of England, all right, Derby in the championship came first. They came first. Insane. Um, Bristol Rovers down again. First. And down again. Bradford City. First. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, it's not bad. Not bad tactic at all. Right, this is the Waves version 2 tactic, guys. This was created by Egrom. You can find it on the FM Arena. And by the tests that have been shown, it looks insane defensive-wise because a lot of the teams um, are, are showing you the stats that they're not getting a lot of shots against them, which is very, very good. Um, goals conceded. Right, PSG only conceded nine, so if you're an elite team and trying to add, hopefully you won't concede uh, many either. But, yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Well done, Egrom, uh, for the tactic, mate. Hopefully, everyone downloads it. Everyone visits um, Egrom's other tactics as well. I'm sure there's more on FM Arena that you can check out. And uh, also, don't forget the food bank information as well, guys, if you are interested and if you are close by, then that'll be a massive help right there. So, yeah, incredible. Nice tactic. I'll see you again in the future. I'm Tucker Jobs. Please be sure to subscribe and click the notification and like the video as well um, if you want to show a bit of support, basically. And I'll see you in the future. Bye.